U.S. regulators have cleared SpaceX's Falcon 9, paving the way for its return to flight this weekend. The company's workhorse rocket was grounded after a mid-flight failure caused it to break apart in a space a couple of weeks ago. In a post on X, SpaceX said it found that the failure was caused by a crack near the oxygen system. Falcon 9's blowout has cast doubt on the future of forthcoming missions including Pol Polaris Dawn. And now, the launch of the ambitious private spaceflight mission has been pushed back. It had initially been set to take off as early as 31st July. The mission's commander, Jared Isaacman, spoke with CNA and said that there are plenty of challenges facing the mission, which is aiming to perform the world's first commercial spacewalk. Mr Isaacman, who has also funded the mission, set a timeline for the mission's launch. We're a little late. Uh, you know, probably late 2022 was, uh, was overly optimistic, but, um, you know, we, we, we've been certified for flight. We've completed our training. We've put our mission patch on the simulator and signed it. So, um, you know, I think we're just weeks away. It's probably late August when we'll, when we'll launch. So what's been the, the biggest challenges and complexities in getting this mission off the ground? Well, I'd say there's a there's a lot of things that have been uh, challenging. So uh, for sure, the spacesuit, um, that's really hard. I mean, when you step outside the safety of your vehicle, um, there is nothing between you and, you know, the harsh vacuum of space other than your spacesuit. And what looks like, you know, just thick clothing when you wear it uh, here on Earth, when it's pressurized, it becomes as rigid as a spaceship. And it's very hard to move in it. Um, you know, mobility at the the legs, the joints, dexterity in the fingers. Um, you know, that's a that's a, a a very challenging engineering problem. It's why we haven't had new spacesuits on the space station in forty in forty plus years. 